on the We've Been Drinking MMA podcast. We are talking about the Miles Johns Dan Argueta fight. I'm going uh, inside distance, and I think Miles Johns actually gets a knockout in this fight. And for me, uh, I like Argueta's grappling. I like how he's getting better from fight to fight. It's a close fight. It's minus 170 for Argueta, slight favorite, 170 to make 100. And I'm just going Argueta. Um, should be probably by decision, but I'm just going to say Argueta money line because he's relatively cheap. Uh, I just feel like he's got the pressure, really. Yeah. Miles Johns has, like, the better striking. I mean, he has striking in general. Argueta doesn't strike. <laughs> he throws, but it's not his, really. Uh, his striking is more there so he can uh, set up a takedown. 100%. Yeah. Like, that's what he does is just go for takedowns, relentless with it. I just think Argueta is, has been – he's had only three fights in the UFC. One of them is a decision loss. His first fight to Damon Jackson, he, he decision – uh, beat Agira, Nick Agira, and then he no contested Ronnie Lawrence, which was one of those things. Actually, we saw this weekend where he had a sub, and then the other guy said, "Oh, I didn't tap." It's like, but I saw you do something like with like two things. It wasn't in in the same spot, but he tapped one on on one you know place, and then he tapped second like right away on somewhere else, and he's like, "Oh, I didn't tap." It was yeah, kind of a weird situation. Inside, inside leg and then outside yes, the leg. Yes, exactly. It was weird, but uh. Um, Miles John is coming off. Let's see. He's been in the UFC for a long time, actually. He's been around for four years. He's uh, like six and two. Uh, he's got some KOs. You know, he he's, he's, he can be a dangerous fighter here. He's got really good leg kicks, I would say. Um, I just feel like the pressure that Argueta can put is something that Miles is. Uh, Miles, I think, is better when he pressures. You know what I mean? But. Like he's not like a clean counter puncher type guy. He's yeah. a guy with good, you know. He he's he's tough. He's uh, got good power type guy. And I just feel like Argueta, just because he's getting better from fight to fight, and he can when you smother Miles, then it's harder to throw the leg kicks, yeah. right? You know, it's like anytime you smother somebody, it's just harder to do what you want to do. And that's the only reason I'm really going with Argueta is I I saw Miles get taken down a little bit, I think, and I just like Argueta looks to be that style. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming that Argueta is improving enough to kind of kind of put the pressure, throw the fake punches, and just get the takedowns. And well, if he does take him know. down, it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem for him because he yeah. can submit people, even though he, he can, hasn't done he hasn't done in the UFC. Yeah, but in the, in the like. Uh, this, yeah, a lot like of the strike force type stuff, like not strike force, but LFA. LFA. Are in, yep. in, he has uh, four many people. Yeah, four subs and two KOs in that. So um, not bad. But he's nine he, and one. He, but if he tries to stand and strike with him, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, it's, it's a knockout. It's yeah. gonna be a knockout for yeah. sure. But I kind of like. So you were saying inside the distance? Yeah, inside the distance, and I, I personally think Miles Johns gonna KO. knock him off. Yeah, but like inside the distance, just in case a sub happens or something. Just weird. in case, like. Argueta gets the back. Right, 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 right. Um, just in case something weird happens. But I, I don't think that's going to happen because no. I think Miles John is a wrestler himself, but mm-hmm. that turned into a striker. Right. But, um, yeah, Miles John's for the win, in my opinion. But, like, I think inside distance, if you are going to bet this. Yeah, it's another fight where, you know, uh, we there's some other fights, you know, the first couple fights that I really like on the prelim. This is the last fight on the prelim, and this is just – you know, it's it's a it's kind of it's almost a toss up fight as far as the odds again. Um, Fighters on the come up. Yeah, so yeah, going with Argueta allows he's going with Miles Johns. Uh, he's thinking by KO. I'm just thinking, who knows? So I'm just doing Argueta money line, and we'll see what happens. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna add it to the parlay or not, but it's just one of those fights. You know, uh, should be a good one just because both of them are kind of. Um, you know, good records. Thirteen and two for Mike Johns and nine and one for Argueta. So it's a, it's you know, it's gonna be an interesting fight just because they're winners. So thanks for listening, guys. Uh, hold on one second. Yeah. Um, hey guys, let us know if you want us to, us to keep doing these prelims. Yeah. Um, this is the first time we're doing the whole card. Yep. Like every single fight on the card. Um, it's our pleasure. It's fun. Yeah, it's actually kind of neat. Uh, there's some fights where like there's. Zero chance this fighter is gonna lose, <laughs> and uh, so, it's it's actually kind of cool because you, there's some ways to win us some actual money here. So let yeah, us know if you yeah. want us to uh, keep doing it. So thanks everybody.